Hello and welcome to free VBA tips. Today I am going to explain you this particular automation. I know uh, this solves the purpose but you might need to ch make some changes for your particular organization. Okay, so today I am going to show you the code behind this particular automation and how this particular automation works. So let's get started. Let me open a fresh Excel file and then uh, let me make it a little bigger and let me go to developer tab and insert ActiveX in case you don't see developer tab then you can go to file and go to options and get your tab developer tab over here. Okay, so we have we have we have got this button and then we just rename it by right clicking go to rename show me a random number and then I just double just uh, go to properties and give it a meaningful name so I'm giving it a name as btn dot r a n d and then just double click on this one then we are going to define some variables you might not able to see it properly but I would show you uh, in the word uh, once I'm done with coding so I'll define a variable right now so which would carry two numbers start and end number so say say there are two numbers over here 15 and 20 and let me just color them up and you want to find some random number between them so just go over here and then define as strt start number as long and then n number as long i generally use long you can also use integer and then we use another variable as result where where our result will be saved r e s r s l t as long okay so let me save some values in result uh, okay so how this uh, this will work is uh, we have a function called r a n d or r n d something like that let me check that r n d okay r n d sorry okay so how this will work if i just uh, use uh, 10 multiply by r and d then it will give me um, values up to 10 values up to 9 i guess just one value less than that okay so it will also include one okay so it will give me values till 10 and then i can just uh, show them here let me just do some debug dot print let me see how this works i am also learning with you guys mm. okay so some values are coming over okay if you see over here how do i zoom it because this particular and the game doesn't have an option and here also I can highlight it okay anyways uh, here is some result has come let me show you on my word if you see over here there is also zero included so let me just add uh, one over here so that we don't include zero and let me put this in bracket let me also show you now let me just do f5 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 to run this code okay perfect i don't see zero anywhere i see values till 11 as well that could be a challenge anyways so 
we can put a condition over here as um, if the value is zero then we will search a new value so we can just write a condition over here if um, if it is greater than 10 then we can just ignore it and print a next one okay let's not go into that and let's come back to our automation so these are two values that i want to search so let me assign these values to the variables so start number would have equal to sheet one dot range a1 and n number would have a2 value let me just copy paste that okay so what we want is we want values between them so values uh, coming between 15 and 20 so what we will do is we'll subtract them so we will subtract 15 from 20 so we will take n number okay n number minus start number star number plus one so that value so that one is not included so we don't want zero oh, sorry so that zero is not included so we are doing n number minus start number plus one so that we are ahead zero and then let me see the values how it is coming Okay, so six is also coming over here. And if I don't add one, then let's see. I don't, okay, I see zero as well. So, we'll, we'll handle that later. Okay, I think zero won't be a problem because it will be a problem only when we are pulling first values. So it will take the first number by default. Okay, so right now what is happening over here is MSGBOX. I could have shown you code directly, but I am also giving you explanations so that you understand. So what is happening over here, five is coming, one is coming, four is coming. So we are getting values. Uh, it's like five values between um, 15 and 20. So they are, their values are coming from one to five. Four is coming. Perfect. So, but we want values between them. So what we have to do is we have to add this also. So what we will do is we will also add start number to it and now let's see 20 perfect 17 18 wow that works so we want values between 15 and 20 so let me type debug dot print let's see 18 17 15 17 yeah it works perfect the reason why i was saying that uh, we can just ignore zero because if we are not adding zero to 15 so it will be it will remain as 15 i guess so that that is not an issue we want something between them so i think that should be fine and it is working perfect okay so let me just share the code with you guys so that uh, you can also make your automation and uh, let me see 19 17 okay let me just change this uh, i want something between 300 to 350 let's see how this works 338 330 342 301 three one one perfect so everything is working fine this is my start and end value and similarly we can have for other numbers 
and let me just show you the code and then I'll give you some tips as well remove okay so we have defined a variable which would store the start number then we have an end number as well and then we have RSLT to to hold the result then start number is from sheet 1 which is the only sheet we have and a1 so this is my start number and my n number is um, from a2 and then what we are doing is we are subtracting n number which is this one from start number so we get 50 as a result then we want 50 values between them so we are doing multiplication sorry multiplication with vba dot rand which would give us values from 1 to 50 so keep in your mind it will give us values from 1 to 50 so to show values uh, between these two we have to add back start number here so we are adding start number so that it starts giving value from 300 to 350 and then we are showing result over here okay so in case you have uh, different different values over here like this this these or some numbers like that first you can do first first you can sort them and then uh, you can put a filter using vba macro and then you can count the number of values you have and then choose some random numbers from them and what I would suggest is uh, for any duplicate values like this here you are getting duplicate values here also you get duplicate values so what I was doing is I defined a variable as um, define wells as a string and then wells is equal to wells is nothing but a result okay is equal to wells plus rslt and then we can put a comma as well over here and then plus okay so let me explain this as well rslt string and let me explain that as well to ensure that we don't have duplicates at all and then and then we put a formula as if uh, vba dot instr is to search something is uh, found in this particular okay you would not add it before okay one second if it is found in uh, <laughs> I'm getting crazy so result what we are searching we are searching RSLT if uh, this is equal to zero then message box result else and also add it and if okay let's see if this works i'm also learning as i said print dot oh sorry debug dot print debug dot print let me see oh very nice error time mismatch okay so this result is actually uh integer or long and c v b dot c i n t or something like that is a there is some okay c i n t to convert this to okay give me a second 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 
so now what we will do is we will uh, just google because if i show you the error is um, this is actually a string and then we are adding a value to a string number which is not possible so we have to convert long to string and we just type vba and let's see if we have something how to convert a integer to a string okay and it's c cstr okay cstr so we write it over here cstr and then we see wow that works so we are converting this integer to a string so let's see now now you would not find any duplicate values over here see there are no duplicates and i will show you the code how this this if you see over here there are no duplicates if you see some duplicates you can ask me in comments okay okay let me just copy paste the code over here and show you how this is working and how we are removing the duplicates as well okay so this one I have explained start number and number and then we are getting result as well and this holds the okay this is a new variable that I have designed design result string so what we are doing in result string is we are saving entire outputs output as a string and then when we are doing a output we are checking result string that is this value is already being used or not so what we are doing over here is if you see over here this is my result and then we are checking if instr actually do a search so we are searching result in my result string where all the all the results are being saved is zero it means the value is not found then give me the value and then also enter that value in the st result string so next time for example if we are getting five okay in this case i think 301 okay 301 we are getting as output so we come here this perform a result and then 301 is saved in this string when next time 301 is coming over here then it will check and it will find that yes the 301 is found then we will it will just go to and if it will not execute this one and here you can do message box or whatever you want you can do over here okay so i hope this makes sense this was um, uh, this is a long video i guess so okay uh, 18 minutes video so if you have any questions you can ask me in comments next time i would be more much more prepared with these kind of automations okay so take care and thank you for watching have a nice day bye